Usually I don't have enough money to do a real prototype and then a prototype for the crowdfunding campaign. Mm -hmm. So I'm minimizing risks and uh, going slower, but just making sure the first prototype will be actually good enough to present it for the crowdfunding campaign. Uh, but that means uh, not much change. So basically, the phone I had to redo the whole uh, phone frame, which is uh, completely new. Uh, it was another architecture. Right now, it's you only have the one. Uh, oh. okay. You only have the one suspension, and the tilt lock will be behind the suspension. Uh, mm -hmm. One detail, yeah, we have the direction geometry and the, the tilting geometry which are working and which are independent, so it's hard to show it, but uh, they are really independent because one of the biggest problem was uh, how, to, how to make the tilt and the direction completely independent. And right now they're completely so independent? Yeah, but I have difficulty to show it. They are, but I, I don't know how to show it. So, uh, normally, you should you should have only the tilt that okay. No, it's not working. Maybe it's because I'm uh, working on the wheel, and I change something. Okay, I think I'll have to revert to what I was doing this morning. But basically, I did manage to have uh, independency of uh, tilting and, and direction. Maybe it's not working right now, but it's not a problem. It's on the Git repo, so anyway, I, I have it working. Um, the smartphone integration should be okay. So it's here. The uh, yeah. So the main road block right now that I'm trying to solve is the um, carbon fiber wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, because at first I was planning to do this kind of uh, design. So basically, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but Git path. Rem. I will, so I will single on my screen. So Git path here is a carbon fiber, and the goal was to plug it in a aluminum in an aluminum uh, rim, standard aluminum rim. But actually, it's kind of uh, it's doable, but it's kind of messy. And when I go in details about how to make it. So basically, how to make the nose, how, how to make the vacuum bag, etc. So the um, oven, uh, it will cost uh, anyway. There, there are there are tricks to make it costless, but it will cost money. You have to make a good mold if you want to have a good bar. So mold for the. I will get rid sorry. of this design and just make a, a complete uh, carbon fiber wheel. So everything will be carbon fiber, but. Uh, this means uh, aluminum molds, which are kind of uh, expensive to make. So I have to make sure the, the design is perfect before, before making the mold, and that's uh, what I'm trying to make it uh, to make right now. Uh, so hold on a second. Hey, hold on a second. Okay. So uh, the mold, you mean a mold for laying the carbon fiber into for the shape of the carbon fiber? Yeah, exactly, and uh, bake it into the oven, because uh, before I was planning to use uh, polyester resin to reinforce the carbon fiber um, issue, but uh, actually the uh, polyester is interesting because you don't have to use an oven, you can uh, just uh, infuse it in, into your tissue at um, normal ambient temperature and uh, just wait for it to, to dry. Mm -hmm. But actually, the strength of polyester and the finish of polyester uh, means that you all you have to apply a gel coat to it, which is a kind of epoxy resin. So it, it sort of sets, and the finish is not good, and the strength, the surface strength is not good enough. So basically, I just got rid of the polyester, which means an oven, um, and which also means when you have an oven, how do you make the um, thermal heat goes into the resin? So this means aluminum uh, mold. Not on the. I, there is a trick to have only one part of the mold which is in aluminum. I don't know. It, it will. Do you want the details or because it will be quite long to explain it? 
No, maybe maybe not uh, the details on that at this point. Uh, can you talk to us more about, you dove right into the explanation of some technical parts, but tell us uh, just more generally what the, like for example, the, the prototype that you're trying to make right now for June, okay. how far are so you trying to get into? That. Okay, Lake, Lake Charles more generally is um, applied to the transmission, so basically it's uh, this part, uh, <coughs> this part here, uh, because it, it was kind quite tricky to find a good part and find a good profile for the transmission to work, where the good transmission was resting on the transmission of source and after all. So normally it's, uh, it's okay as far as the part, uh, integrated into the design, it, it will be a custom uh, part. It will be a standard part customized with the CNC. Oh, and by the way, yeah, very important topic. Uh, will you be able in July to have access to a CNC machine? Well, I mean, we don't have one right here right now, a but CNC we can. Milling, sorry. Yeah, I mean, we don't have one right here, but I mean, we can consider getting one <coughs> uh, just for the project to happen. What is the cost for a minimum CNC mill that would work for this? Uh, a few thousand uh, euros. I would say at least five thousand uh, dollars, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we can't consider doing that for the for the project. Yeah. Now for... Because basically, if we, if we have a... Because I'm trying to make it work uh, with the CNC of my fab lab to make it also the mold, which is a, a huge uh, cost to us. So I'm basically having a CNC milling on site would be would mean having access to a precise machine. So because basically most of the parts uh, are doable with a CNC machine. It's a uh, for plastic part we it's compatible with standard mil milling and for um, aluminum part it's uh, compatible with uh, CXS CNC machine. Okay. Uh, yeah. So next, as for the transmission. Uh, what did you say? Yeah, I, the design change also. I, I think you saw it. Um, there is, yeah, the rear the rear twin changed a little. It was basically there is always a front tip uh, because the rear tray wasn't working before. Now it will be working because all the basically the connection between the tra transmission and the rear wheel wasn't uh, obvious, uh, so right here. It's, it's not perfect, it's, uh, you can see here this uh, distance, uh, which is, uh, it, it's not the best solution. It's, I can't really like it, but uh, it works, it's not that ugly, it's not that heavy, so. Mm -hmm. uh, what to say? Uh, maybe, yeah, so for the switch, that needs uh, two clicks that I have to work uh, on the following weeks. So yeah, no, sorry. For, for the next two weeks, I think it will be, uh, how do I make uh, this wheel? So transition from uh, aluminum wheel plus uh, carbon fiber, uh, uh, I don't know, flat, mm -hmm. maybe something about uh, 48 days, to a full carbon fiber. So basically how to make the mold. Mm -hmm. So I hope I will have access to make this a professional CNC machine to make sure to be able to make this mold. Uh, I will have also a Do you have fabrication process with a friend which is a professional of uh, or carbon fiber part because I, I'm quite sure about the process but uh, still needs uh, to be verified by, by a professional. Uh, I need to do the another uh, finance element analysis because uh, right now it's five millimeters of uh, aluminum plate. I think it's strong enough, but uh, I want to be sure. Uh, there is lots of glitches uh, you don't see, but right now these uh, screws are not in the correct place. Uh, the seat, I think I will have to, to make it stronger. I don't think it will be strong enough. The, so what to say, uh, yeah, the tilt lock is not implemented. Basically, it's a small tool to add and a, a small mechanism to hide rear. Uh, wait, 
so maybe I don't think you can see what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing on the screen? Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, what would be nice to, uh, yeah, the the bike driver also will be a dummy bike uh, driver. It will not uh, be module. It just uh, to make sure it will be the the module will be compatible with it. But basically, I making this work with uh, adding uh, another transmission, another motor as a generator, and I don't even have the energy pack to make it compatible so basically this prototype uh, is about it uh huh so just uh, but are you good on the electric motor itself and that battery pack you've got uh, I mean without uh, the yeah, charging the, actually I already bought the electric motor I designed it to make it work with it uh, mm -hmm. and the, basically the battery pack uh, the one I bought it is not great but my point is not to test the the battery because I knew from the very beginning that the battery would be just to test drive the 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 train the for uh, yeah the for us train okay and not test the battery because what's important is to have a system battery with with a system controller all integrated with the charger and all the all integrated parts and you can just not buy it by it on uh, impulse you have to design it and it's a lot of work there is no point to test that right now and uh, but the motor will be the final motor and yeah it's a great motor so it was hard to integrate because uh, one of the main disadvantages is uh, it's really uh, bulky uh, basically <coughs> in this direction it's too wide that's why you have this problem here mm -hmm. how to make the connection between the transmission there is other way to solve it but uh, the best way to solve it is to have a thinner motor and uh, get rid of this problem but uh, having a, a motor that efficient that powerful that cheap it's very hard to find so mm -hmm. they have ones that are thinner but they're just much more expensive yeah yeah I if if you can spare like a thousand uh, euro on the motor you can find perfect motor thinner and uh, that have enough torque and power but for this price and what's the price right now for the motor? Sorry? What's the price for the motor now? Uh, if I remember correctly, it's something like 200 uh, euro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what's the price of the, I mean, the test battery pack? I mean, you're just going to use that. Did you buy that already? Yeah, yeah. The one that I bought, uh, the retail price was something like 900 euros. But I guess I say it's something like 800 euros. But for the test pack, uh, I think that is a, if, if you, from my point of view, what's most interesting is to, is to test the performance, not only because, yeah. not only the range, but I know you want also to test the range. So if you really want to test the range, I think you will have to pay something like uh, 1,000 euros for the battery pack. What do you expect the range for the thousand euro battery to be without the recharge system? Oh, uh, for, for uh, the price for one thousand euro, you would you would get something close to two kilowatt hour of uh, energy, and with uh, enough uh, power to to use uh, the power to use your motor at its full potential. So, what range? About like a hun what a hundred kilometers or something or uh, yeah I, I know that uh, for when I say 1000 euro two kilowatt hours is the 100 kilometers range uh, goal which is very impressive still and that I mean that in itself would be quite impressive for a lot of people that out of this I mean it's a costly battery but I mean to get about 60 miles out of that range that would be yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. But Is but so you if you it's really not only about the battery. If you want to have that this kind of range, it's really about the efficiency of the power train of the train of the vehicle. Now is that does your existing powertrain allow that to happen? Yeah, yeah. It's in my case that I think that two kilowatt 
channel of MDB will be enough to to travel one hundred kilometers after lunch. Yeah, yeah. So for if we organize a workshop, so you're considering the workshop on about August one to the third, right? Yep. Can we do something like where, yeah. I mean, the people who sign up for it, they build this machine with um, the s the hundred kilometer range. Yeah. And that's a point, I mean, without the recharge, without <coughs> the pedals, yeah. because we're not going to get there yet. There. But uh, do you think, think that that would be a minimum uh, viable yeah. product? I, th I think I already told you that for me, for the workshop, I don't think it's a good idea to take people. You can build your own uh, trike. Okay. Uh, because the trike will, will not be a good trike to drive on, on a daily basis. Basically, uh, it, it will have a steep issues to solve uh, really the best I heard I don't think it will okay uh, most for me the, the, the biggest problem is is this re reliable I don't know okay because you can know it from a computer you right. can test okay it, it seems uh, robust enough but you really have to test drive it before having yeah. someone which is not a beta tester or drive it on a daily basis is just too much of a yeah problem liability uh, danger even yeah so we can talk about an experimental workshop basically at that time i think for me the way i see the the workshop right now is uh, okay if if you are really adventurous uh, come and learn how to build your trike but learn how to build it and wait for the kit to to be released the functional kit to be released in a few months and by this kit, you will know how to assemble it on your own. Uh, whereas saying, okay, come to this uh, workshop and build your own trike, I think it's, it's too bold of a statement. It's, it's too risky for, for them, for us. I don't think it's a good uh, strategy. Yeah. It's so now come to learn, and it can, it can be even, okay, learn with this experience how to build uh, stuff like this trike on your own with some tuning machine, design your parts, other things about designing and construction, mm -hmm. no, then uh, just coming to have a small trial. I don't think it's, it's it's a good to be the attitude of uh, people. Come for the yeah. experience and the knowledge of uh, how to build this trial uh, later. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that you'd want to pretty much at this point get pre-orders? I mean, would that be the thing that you'd like to do for the workshop? Or I, Sorry, I didn't get it. Would you like to get pre-orders yeah. of people committing to buying this kit when it's ready? Uh, actually, right now what I'm doing is I just gather emails about people that want to buy the kit, but I don't know why not start pre-ordering kit. But uh, as I say, it's just a realization of, of the kit. Not uh, um, it would be like. A I don't know. If someone has to pay maybe something like 50 euro or 100 euro just to say, okay, I w I'm really committed to buy this kit when it comes uh, in a few months, but not uh, pay the kit right now. Okay. Okay, so that's reasonable. Then Then it could be a great experience to, to do an experimental workshop where you learn about the design and all of that. And if we did want to do that, then by that time, that will include the carbon fiber work, right? In house, is that what you do? The prototype includes carbon fiber, but to be at the end of the line. So we're we're, t we're taking from going from raw carbon fibers and doing the mold, and we might have the mold made beforehand, right? The mold would be made oh, beforehand. Yeah, no. We we will have the mold made before because it's really long to make the mold, and and it can't take you. I really don't advise to make one <coughs> during the workshop. Right. But the, the carbon, basically, take the spray carbon treatment, uh, use the mold, make it in, bake it in the oven, that you can do within the workshop, no problem, but not the mold. Uh huh. How much is the oven because for this? Sorry? How much is the oven part? How much would that be? <laughs> the, the oven, I I found solution to make it really cheap. It, it would be a few hundred euro tax, but uh, I have solution to make it really cheap. Okay, that's good. So the if we wanted to do the the actual milling, so the custom parts, 
So the aluminum is not CNC cut. It's it's uh, milled. Or the aluminum is CNC milled. Yes. So CNC the most we do it for the parts for like the mounting the plates. Aluminum, you mean the aluminum plates for the for velo car or for the motor? For the velo car. Okay. I think you can uh, just mention it or CNC mill it uh, because uh, we don't have um, uh, plate sewer. So basically, when you want, uh, if you want to cut that with a flat number problem, but if you want to cut that with a CNC milling, you have to do this, this, and this. And there is no uh, plate cut. Uh, so you can use uh, CNC milling uh, to cut the plate too. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So send us a link to the to the machine. Do you have a link to the machine, the CNC mill that we would need as a minimum machine for this? Uh, I have, but if you really want to buy one, maybe I have to do some research, 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 because I can provide you a, a mill that that we have at uh, my local fab lab, but I don't know if it's the best choice for you right now. Yeah. So I can tell you if it's for the market, but uh, maybe do a little investigation. I can find you the good. And even if you go it to somebody, I don't know if you can buy it in uh, in USA. It's a small machine uh, for us. So if, if you really want to buy, buy one, uh, take time to investigate. I can do it too, and I tell you uh, by what I would buy if I were you. Yeah, is this okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. We're looking at that yeah. macro net. Yeah, they, they are pretty dirty, but uh, their machines are, are decent. They're not that expensive. But basically, uh, before buying this kind of machine, really take time to investigate because it's it's a really interesting machine and it's very expensive too and how much is one of these the minimum one that we would need i would say uh, don't go below five thousand uh, dollars five thousand euro i would say but it really depends also of what kind of person you want to cut and what kind of uh, material you want to mill uh, i would say for you uh, you will, uh, if you don't have uh, 20 to uh, 25,000 dollars to invest, you won't be able to mill uh, uh, steel. So just focus on uh, CNC able to cut aluminum, right. which is uh, which you will be able to find in this kind of price range. So I, I would say it's something between at least 5,000 euro and plus and plus 1,000 euro. Yeah. And maybe yeah. it depends on the surface you want to be able to mill. So right now we have uh, the, the surface we have at our fab lab is um, more than six meter uh, and one meter large, uh, long, sorry. So 0 0.6 meter large, one meter long, <coughs> and uh, something like 30 centimeters uh, on the Z axis. It's different. Uh, I think it, it is the, the kind of size you want to have right now. Is but that maybe you have taken a risk? Uh, really take ti time to think about it because it's it's really a, a much uh, a really interesting machine. You can do many stuff, many things with it. So. Will that same machine be able to produce the mold for the wheels? Yeah, yeah, exactly. At least that's what I'm trying to do right now. And you're trying to so do that at your fab lab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because basically, that that kind of CNC machine will be able to you will be able to do mold for all the parts that uh, Velocar will be doing. So uh, using carbon fiber for all the parts we uh, we want. But beware, even if you can do it, uh, it's not <laughs> always a good option because carbon fiber is really labor intensive and still expensive. How much are the carbon fiber wheels going to cost when you make them yourself? Uh, below uh, 100 euro uh, each piece. 
but she covered her thighs with some stuff. Mm -hmm. And the overall price for Velocar, the finished product, you, you, what is your goal right now? Yeah, it's, it's killing with the Cayman, the B63 and 4,000 euro for the, for the track. And I guess it will be, in the track it sell, uh, the, the Iron Shell will be something like 500 and around 500 euro and around 1,000 euro. And that's on top of the three to 4,000 or? Yeah, yeah, it's on top. So four to 5,000 euros for yeah, this. right now that's what I will sell. Including the, the bicycle power assist, the Keenan power assist? Uh, including the enough pack and the, yeah, including basically the whole uh, velo car, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a link to the machine that you have, the CNC machine you have at your fab lab? Okay. Uh, you have to look for it, or you basically you look at the the reference number and it's the same thing. Okay, so in any case, let's have um, yeah, let's move forward. So um, yeah. when you come in, uh, the the thing else I can do is sorry, I will come back to show you. Uh, just the first uh, second of the line. And just uh, take a plane uh, <laughs> right next to it. Take a plane like the second of July. Uh, yeah, uh, just I have to check, but I think I come back to show you on first of the line, and I can take a plane uh, from the second of uh, July and do in the same by the end of uh, second of July. What's the when you come here, what is the most important, like at that time, it would be good if we have that CNC machine so you can start working with that immediately? Uh, yeah, I think that would be a, a good idea to have it. What I would suggest is that we invest in that machine because it's a good study for us. I mean, before we build our own, it's a good study of what we, you know, what a machine has to do and how to design yeah, actually it. Actually, I, I will explain that like by, by one today, no, uh, even this is because really we need to add so many links. So buy one, use it a lot, should be also. And uh, but I will talk uh, more extensively about uh, how to build a good CNC machine because basically I already have a lot of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, if you want a good CNC machine, don't build it, just buy it, and you will have a good product. Because the other part of that is that you can make some of the parts for the next version, if it were aluminum. Yeah, but uh, not that part at the end part, but um, the, the problem with the CNC uh, machine is you want it to be really precise and it takes time to develop a really good CNC machine. So basically you will have to wait like six months, one year to have a good CNC machine. It just will be a lot of trouble, whereas in five months, Right now, you could solve so many problems right now. Yeah. So if you can, if you can do the research for us on which one we should get in the states or like that German one, <coughs> but if you can do that, I'm willing to do that, and then hopefully in a workshop we can we can get some revenue from that people signing up, so we cover some of that cost or whatever. However we do it, I mean we've got a little bit of money we can spend on that right now. I mean that was in the plan for the year, so. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of noise, but <laughs> not too much. Okay, so mm. point is, let's plan on getting this. It's in the plan yeah. for this year. So if you can get us a link, do some research, and tell me the one that you would like to have that would be, be sufficient for this, the minimum viable product that we need to make this happen for now, and then we'll explore that and open source it later. Uh, 
to do this? Uh, say that you know between the five to ten thousand dollars, U.S. So okay. if you have someone to talk to you on a private way, uh, don't rely only on me. I will provide you with a good solution. I hope it will be good, but uh, I'm not the best person to consult you on this. Yeah, I can talk to some people about that as well, so we can move yeah, forward yeah, on that. Yeah, you understand, just because I, I, I really hope it can solve your issue. So okay, yeah, yeah. So thank you. Uh, any questions? Let's see if any of our people here have questions. Any questions for Jan? Gabriel. Yeah. Can you hear me, Jan? Okay. Okay, we, we got a question for you. Hey, Jan. I'm Gabriel. Yeah. Um, hey, so I'm wondering with, with some of these materials, uh, I'm no material scientist, but uh, with carbon fiber, um, is this something that we will that you know wi with a finished global village construction set? Uh, is it realistic to fabricate um, a velocar as it is now? Can we construct okay. carbon fiber? Um, can we actually I make carbon? Fi can we actually make carbon fiber when we have the entire global village construction set? Oh, you mean the tissue carbon fiber tissue? Yes, yeah. and 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 also uh, working with it, I guess cutting it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's a very technical material. To make the tissue, uh, you know, it's still a very heavy industrial process, and very beware of the use of uh, of uh, carbon fiber. I'm using carbon fiber for very specific reason. I really have to have very light uh, wheel and a very strong uh, wheel with a special shape. I can do it basically in aluminum, but it will be more expensive. But in the in the G GBPS uh, scope, uh, if you <coughs> have to do uh, this kind of wheel, I will do the aluminum foundry. But it will be more expensive. But now in the scope, we will have uh, easily uh, in the GBPS carbon fiber. You have to take the carbon fiber tissue out of the scope. So making it, it's you can, you can, but uh, the process is uh, expensive, complex, and still making parts in carbon fiber. It will be interesting uh, in a few years when, um, I don't know if you followed what happened to uh, Local Motors, that they are still looking for the cars with, uh, with the mix, with this specific tall uh, plastic reinforced with a small uh, car carbon fiber. And this is really interesting. I think it's the future, but this kind of car carbon fiber does it with uh, caution. Okay, thanks. So does that answer your que question, uh, Gabriel? I don't know. Yeah, totally. Um, anybody else? Anybody? Anybody else? Any other questions? No, we're set. Okay. So I think that's about it for now then, yeah? So we're, we're going to move on to our brick press work and all of that. But yeah, so we'll look forward to having yeah. you. In. Let's, let's move forward on the CNC machine and have fun exploring. I mean, there's a lot of technologies here. I mean, there's, there's like interface design integrating into a smartphone. There's like all this electric motors, materials, machining, a lot of different elements that we're going to learn here. That's why it's very Can valuable. One last question? Yep. Uh, do you have a uh, list of uh, the, 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 peop the person who, who could be on site uh, during the live? You know yeah, the yeah, we do. We do. I can send that to you. The best is uh, obviously their names, but uh, their profiles. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be some people. So, uh -huh. Yeah, I can send you all of that. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, okay. So this is exciting. We'll, we'll be moving forward on that and look forward to an exciting microcar experimental workshop. That'll be great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh,
session will tell you will be made in Papinti and we'll have to plan for the logistics. Yes. Yes. So okay. I think email is okay for the logistics or you want to uh, consult? Yeah, I think later. email. Yeah, email is good for now. I think that's simple enough for now. And uh, yeah, we'll continue from here and make it happen. Uh, on the last session, uh -huh. I can clarify. Uh, is it, uh, can you have a phone call uh, on site? Because uh, I have planned a phone call with people, but uh, if it's not working, I have to it call only after my... Uh, no, it should be it should be good. Right now, we just got two two interle internet lines into the Hab Lab four megabit. We're actually getting the next one installed on Monday, so we should have we should be okay. We're gonna have three four megabit lines to use here, so we should be okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Great. Great. Well, thank you for your time, and yeah, we'll be in touch, and let's keep moving forward on this. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Jan. Take care then.